Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, bienvenidos al programa Acordeones de Texas con Lupe Sainz, el programa que le trae a usted la música de el sur de Texas. Bienvenidos y a bailar todos. Amigos, buenos días, bienvenidos al programa de Acordeones de Texas TV Show. Lupe Sainz aquí con ustedes una vez más, trayendo nuestro programa más de Acordeones de Texas TV Show a través de Channel 5.3. We thank you for your attention. Gracias por ponernos el televisión los domingos en la mañana a las 10 y ver nuestro programa. Hoy es un día muy especial para todas las madrecitas porque hoy es Mother's Day. Día de las madres aquí en los Estados Unidos. Happy Mother's Day. Pasen un día feliz a todas sus madrecitas. Ustedes se lo merecen. Vamos a empezar el programa. Tenemos una presentación primeramente de un grupo que se llama Los Halcones. Ellos son de los Fresno, Texas. Para empezar el programa, aquí vamos. Presentación de los halcones ahí en el programa de Acordeón de Texas TV Show en este día, presentándole a ustedes presentaciones bonitas, alegres y contentas para que bailen con las mamás. Es hoy que es Mother's Day, ¿eh? Llévenlas a comer, llévenlas a pasear, llévenlas al parque. Today is Mother's Day. Vamos a platicar con una 
joven, mujer muy bonita, muy talentosa, que se llama Virginia. Virginia tiene su grupo, vamos a conocerla aquí, a ver qué nos platica. Here we go. All right, so this is Virginia from Virginia y Valor, and I want to tell you about my journey in the music industry. That started around 2018 in the studio in Ed Couch Elsa that the uh, Laytons own. Benny Layton Jr. and Paul Layton were the, the, well, they really are still, you know, the ones that have been helping helping me. Um, they got, they helped me get my start. Norfie Layton was instrumental in helping me to uh, really get going with the singing. I had always wanted to sing uh, all my life, but I had never recorded, I had never performed live, and uh, obviously, you know, it, it takes courage, and I was very, very nervous about it. So that's where I started. I recorded my first album, Amor Mio, and then this one called Adelante was the second album, or our sophomore album, that was released in 2021. Um, this one was a pretty exciting album for us because on that one, we did a, um, a collaboration with Shelly Lares, La Reina Se Rey, a conjunto ranchera. And, um, and we, we also did My Angel Baby with my cousin from Toby Bow, Valde Silva, his wife Renetta, and their son Mike Silva, and my son Oscar. So that was, that was a really cool experience, you know, to have family um, involved in the studio with us recording. This one was recorded with a Grammy nominee uh, producer, Severo Contreras, Sevi Contreras, from Slack Monster Studio in, in San Antonio. Um, the first one we recorded, you know, here in the valley with Chris Rodriguez from Tejano Highway 281. This one we recorded our first album con uh, Linda Escobar, I know a lot of people recognize it. Yeah. <laughs> 
going to get a copy. If you want to get the CD, you can go straight to our website at virginiaivalor.com, and all our merchandise is there. Um, and if you want to stream our music, it's on all the um, the digital music streaming sites like Spotify and Apple Music and Deezer and you know all of them. There's like 50 stores that have our music plus YouTube, and and of course you know we have other merchandise like T-shirts and koozies and you know uh, we really really love our fans. We really really appreciate those of you that are out there following our music and coming out to our shows. For bookings. So doing? for bookings, you want to call 956-376-0239 or you can email virginiaivalor at gmail.com. Thank you. <laughs>de Virginia y su grupo, su música, que estuvimos presentándolo por aquí en el Broken Sprocket, aquí con el Don Timo Ruedas el domingo pasado. Gracias por darnos la oportunidad de estar aquí con ustedes en este día. Vamos a continuar, pero antes tomamos una pausa comercial para Channel 5.3. We'll be right back con más música y más información. No te vayas. And we're back. Regresamos en el programa de Acordeones de Texas TV Show. También hay una organización aquí en Brownsville que se llama La Cultura Vive en Brownsville. Una organización que quieren hacer, hacen programas para la juventud y promover la música de conjunto en las escuelas. Aquí está Mr. Carlos Hernández para que le diga más. Platica un poquito del programa que tienen ustedes aquí de La Cultura Vive en Brownsville. We have an annual event that we've been having now live for five years and two years, of course, because of COVID, it didn't happen. 
So what we try to do is we invite all the public schools in the, in the state of Texas to participate. And it's actually a competition, but it's also like a history class where we get them to start off their musical set with just the accordion and the bajo, like the original conjunto music. And, and then they move forward and they progress to more modern day music, encouraging them to continue telling the story of our culture so that people can see the great contribution that our culture has made, not just to the, to the Valley or the great state of Texas, but the, now it's international. It's all over the world. And how is that been, how, what kind of response do you get from the schools and people? Oh, we've had an increase in the schools participating every year. We started off the first year with four schools. Now we're up to 10 schools, but when you break it down into the categories, it's 16 different entries consist out of the 10 schools that participate. So it's gone quite a bit. If anybody wants to participate with you, come on, Okay, we usually publicize on our Facebook page when the event is going to be, we, we announce a save the date. And, and all of the schools that we have contact with, we do an email blast and we send it out, inviting them to participate. There's a registration. It's an online registration. There's criteria that they have to fill in. Of course, the no pass, no play is also comes into effect uh, to get them more or less prepared for the day comes that Conjunto Music makes history and becomes a UIL event. And that's, that's the mission and the goal of, of the organization. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Hernandez, for this presentation. Appreciate your input and information of this program that has a very bonito para la juventud de conjunto. Vamos a continuar hablando de juventud de conjunto. Hay un joven de aquí de la Feria Texas que se llama Robert Martinez. Fíjese que fue finalista en el Big Squeeze de Texas Folk Life y va para Austin a participar. Vamos a presentarle de aquí a Robert Martinez para que lo conozca y sepa por qué esa venta. Here we go. My name is Robert Martinez. And your age? I am 12 years old. No way. I'm 64 and you're way taller than me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now may I ask, what grade are you in? I am in seventh grade. Fantastic, fantastic. And what made you decide, out of all the instruments out there, what made you decide to pick the accordion? Well, my dad used to listen to it a lot, actually, and I guess that's how I got used to it, so.
Bueno, felicitando a Robert Martínez, a su papá y su familia por esa juventud, ese talento que tiene de acordeonista, ¿verdad? También es su maestro quien lo enseñó por aquí de El Cauchaza, que fue Mr. Jan Navarro. Muy buen trabajo que hicieron con este niño. Vamos a continuar el programa y vamos a ver qué sigue, vamos a ver qué sigue aquí. Ok, we're going to take another break, but Channel 5.3 will be right back. Con más música, we'll be right back. Bueno, pues Coming Up es Memorial Day, donde celebramos o reconocemos a todos aquellos que dieron sus vidas para las libertades que tenemos en este país. Es Memorial Day para visitar sus tumbas. Y The Warriors United in Arms de Brunswick los felicitamos porque finally they were able to buy este helicóptero, es un Huey helicóptero que voló en Vietnam. Lo compraron, lo trajeron para Brunswick y lo van a tener en el parque, quieren tenerlo listo para Memorial Day que ya viene. Felicidades al Commander Tony Garza y a todo su crew, porque hicieron muy buen trabajo de traer esto. Vamos a continuar el programa de acordeones de Texas TV Show, vámonos para La Lomita, La Lomita Park, el baile comienza a las 6 horas. No se nos olviden con Don Pepe Maldonado y nos vamos con esto. Here we go. Bueno, pues amigos, se nos terminó la media hora en el programa de Acordeón de Texas TV Show. Gracias porque estuvieron con nosotros. Military Salud, a todos los veteranos, thank you for your service. A los maestros, for your responders. Todos los que proveen servicios para tener la vida happy here in the valley, we thank you. Nosotros vamos a ir aquí next Sunday en el programa Acordeón de Texas TV Show. Happy Mother's Day. Feliz Día de las Madres. Nos vemos el próximo domingo. Bye bye.